Hey guys, Kane here and in this video we're gonna start talking about heroes more or less one at a time. And the first hero we're gonna speak about is Valerie. The thing about Valerie is she is probably one of the better or best basic heroes in the game which can out damage literally any of the hero in here even without any equipment or um, any specific setup. However, if other heroes do get like specific uh, artifacts, prisms and stuff like that, she can do similar damage as them. The reason for that uh, are a few things and most of them just come down to her abilities. And as you can see, you only use her as a passive hero with only passive skills as maxed and eventually you may have the fire dance in there or if you're very early in the game you usually max the passives as much as you're able and then one or two levels in the fire dance so why is she that overpowered so the thing about the skills which it for example it says um, deals like 7000 burning damage uh, in like a small uh, AoE or nearby enemies and the thing about this is that this damage actually also procs from some value of your attack. Meaning if you increase your attack value, Valerie will also do more damage both to the main target and also in AoE. I'm not sure when this was changed or when this was added because like more than a half-ish or more than a half a year ago this wasn't actually the case. She wasn't really doing that in incredible amounts of damage and you could just say it only barely increased it by your attack value but now she's actually exploding stuff even without like specific builds so the other thing that they did change is the burning enemies magic resistance is reduced by 25 percent this of course could have added to the damage done as well who knows uh, quite a few things could have happened so what do you need to actually get her going? So quite a few people, uh, myself included, are using Arcane Rod 5 star as her main damage uh, source or rather main damage artifact. However, if you're very new in the game and you don't have this artifact and you don't have like 50 bucks to spare to max it or stuff like that, uh, you can essentially buy it and upgrade it to I think 2 or 3 star. Uh, it would be sufficient enough for her to uh, be a decent DPS with it, or you can use one of the free artifacts in terms of Sunflare. And the reason for that is the range as well as the crit damage and the uh, rather damage to large and massive units. The Sunflare does have Might and Command, however the range is going to make her be a lot safer from uh, damage as well as the crit damage is going to increase her overall damage as well as the damage to large and massive are going to do more damage to like mechs, uh, trees and stuff like that. So it sort of increases her safety as well as some of her DPS. So do keep in mind the arcane rod is not only the only viable option. And the thing is, uh, if you don't use some flare, Valerie majority of the time is very, very close to the range of like the enemy and she can easily be focused by a lot of things. So a thing that I would like to do or do uh, quite a bit of times is just place my Valerie in the range 4, increasing her range, her crit rate and her crit damage. She's now pretty much quite far in the backline and she doesn't really get hit by Rufios, doesn't get hit by Blizzards majority of the time, so essentially range or range add-on actually puts her in a place where she can dish out a lot of damage with not as much CC landing on her, so do keep that in mind. The other thing which uh, we're gonna talk about are the equipment. So I do have a, a Drake set and I wanted to put it on um, Valerie just for the sake of upgrading all of these skills including burning and the next level is 30%. However, you don't really require that. Most of her damage comes from um, doing damage on tanks or doing damage to what's in front of her which are tanks. So basically if you uh, 
equip the uh, weapon, which increases damage from fire abilities uh, 20%, as well as equipping the flawless glint steel pistol, you basically do about 45-ish percent damage to melee units, and only the fire one would then pass through to, let's say, backland or whatever. So the faster you pass the front line, the faster, or the faster you win the battle, rather. The thing is, the front line for a uh, majority of the people who are entering like Castle 40, 45, uh, 50 are actually harder to pass, and it's not really that easy. Especially if you're against somebody who uh, is using something like trees, right? These trees regenerate incredible amounts of health. And even when I was sieging a, a Sylph before, my Valerie was barely even able to actually kill those trees, and my Valerie has like proper decked out setup for the level like five star artifact tier 10 arcanist fury and stuff like that so the, the further it goes the harder the tanks are uh, to pass and essentially something like this build could actually help you out with damage now if you do get something like this early on like castle 40 or whatever she's actually gonna kill everything in your sight if she's not focused in the very first few seconds of the battle and pretty much one of my friends actually showcased this. So, when should you get it? Now, the, the thing about it is, she is good from pretty much early game. Uh, however, she's not gonna do a lot of damage without a proper um, artifact, like one of those two. And she's not gonna do a lot of damage without a proper prism. However, I've spoke with some guys on Discord... Uh, and they also said whenever they first received Valerie, they didn't actually have the Arcanist Fury with the True Emerald. They had um, a True Ruby which they put on her, and I do believe they put something which increased her attack. And as I said before, her damage from her Lotus Fire or her abilities do scale somewhat from her attack. So increasing the attack value still increases her DPS. So also do keep that in mind. And they said she was actually like a beast carrying through majority of the PvE content. And when they were able to get a true emerald, she just unlocked and started doing even more damage. Do keep in mind that you also do require hero research to get her going. And the ones that you require, we're gonna cover up in just a second. So basically, majority of these uh, have to be leveled anyway. I do believe this one, or rather, uh, one second, let me find some. So level 6 increases some damage. Uh, level 7 is actually required because it increases critical hit chance of mage and necromancers, as well as increasing the magic damage of mage and necromancers by 50%. So this one is pretty much required. Then tier 8 is also required because it increases critical hit damage. Uh, this also increases the level, so yeah, these two are very, very, very important. And then comparing like the next two, the tier 10 is actually more important than tier 9. The reason is, it reduces magic resistance of units damaged by mages and necromancers by 50%. So basically, imagine a Valerie's burning, reducing magic resistance by 25%, and then that reducing by an additional like 50%. So I'm not entirely sure if it would reduce like 75% outright, but essentially it reduces magic resistance. So we got to think of it as like you're going to be doing a lot more damage anyway. So yeah, this is actually very important. And then you're getting some uh, additional stuff, which uh, are not really that good, I suppose. It's just basic buffs uh, that you eventually get. And then this one is just attack speed and movement speed. Then you go forward, tier 11 are two levels. Eventually, you're going to have to want this because two levels usually add like more than 20% of the stats that you currently have. So, or even more if you're on the very higher level, so it really depends, and essentially 20% of stats is actually quite a lot. As well as tier 12, increases damage outright by like 30%, and then adds magic, so both of these also increases the damage output. Now you have tier 13, 14, 15. Now I'm not 
Personally, I'm not entirely sure which one is the, let's say, better one, right? However, uh, I checked like the uh, skills, the accuracy, um, would some sort of increase damage if they're missing targets. This one increases casted abilities damage, so it wouldn't really affect Valerie. It would affect more to like Avril and stuff like that. Um, and uh, this one actually increases the damage output by like 27% or 1% per level right now, I do believe. Uh, one second. Oh shit, I fuck, I cancelled it. Oops. Uh, I do believe it increases. Oh, by 0 0.5. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna have to requeue them anyway sometime soon. So yeah, and the skill that they do provide. They get a shield and increase their damage by 20% until shield fit. It's not really that strong. Most of the time, mages get focused and that damage is literally you know, taken and shield removed in like the very beginning. This increases some stats. However, this one, the magic surge. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a cold. When mages and necromancers cast an active ability, magic resistance of all enemies reduced by 25% for 5 seconds. It doesn't stack, but it again reduces magic resistance, something that rogues do not have, and that is like the reason why mages are becoming like pretty much the top DPS most of the time. Rogues and mechs have like a lot of damage, a lot of crit, crit damage, um, physical buffs and stuff like that, but they do not have physical resistance removals. And mages, they do not have like incredible, incredible like crit hit uh, crit damage uh, and all that kind of stuff scaling but it do have a lot of magic resistances and rather magic resistance removals and if you add 25 for from burning you add like 50 from the other skill you add 25 from here basically you're hitting uh, naked targets in that sort of sense so yeah this is what I'm going for, and then I will be going for this to increase the levels by 5. It's gonna take me probably close to a year just to finish both of these. Maybe just a little bit less, but it's it's a friggin' long journey for that. Anyways, um, honestly, there is no specific castle level where I would actually advise you to get her. However, do keep in mind that she's one of the best heroes and can even solo events like Kingdom Guardian. If she's strong enough, can solo events like uh, Pinnacle or almost solo them since you're gonna start needing archers in the very last stages and stuff like that. So again, do keep in mind she's one of the stronger heroes which can carry you quite far. Now, from what I have noticed is that she doesn't really scale that well into late game or a lot of people are not actually using her. So let's just check a couple of fights and uh, at random and see uh, what we can find. So I don't see Valerie in here. I don't see Valerie in here, though I'm not sure if they're using her or not. This guy is not using her, the other guy is also not using her, so probably that's why. Let's check a couple more to uh, see whether or not they are strong. So, Valerie, top 3 DPS. Let's check something. Uh, we're gonna try to find like 20 millions after that. So, uh, Avril, uh, Valerie, uh, probably she died very early, she didn't do almost anything. This guy is probably not even using Valerie. So yeah, it doesn't really scale that incredibly well towards like uh, late game. However, she's a friggin' beast in the early and late game. So as you can see, the first Valerie appeared at top 2 DPS. Do you believe his Valerie is friggin' decked out? Let's just find her and check. Uh, yeah, pretty much uh, the set that I had myself, except... Uh, he has a uh, avoid um, a trinket which I don't yet have, and he even has a tier nine Arcanist Fury. So somewhat she's able to do pretty decent, I suppose, towards late game, considering what this person had. But it can also just be a specific fight against like specific, maybe not as good equipment um, person. So uh, I don't see. Uh, oh, Valerie. Again, probably that very early for this guy, uh, Valerie, I don't see as well. So in 20 millions, uh, Valerie didn't really perform that well. 
So yeah, uh, pretty much, essentially, Valerie is like the early to mid game hero, and she sort of kind of falls off. I suppose you can deem it at that because you can see like even other heroes, something like Ophelia, which wasn't really doing that much damage, is sort of appearing as your top DPS in quite a few fights. So again, do keep in mind. She is one of the more overpowered heroes in the early to mid, and then she sort of slowly um, gets outscaled by many others. Again, it really depends on a lot of things. Depends on research, depends on your upgrades, depends on a lot of things. So don't think of it as you're gonna use Valerie and then eventually she's gonna become useless. She's gonna be good, it's just that some heroes eventually can start acting or being a little bit stronger and then you will have to probably adjust accordingly but until then until that point in time probably a year a year and a half into your overall game time or gameplay she's actually gonna be a beastly type dps anyways that's pretty much it for the video hopefully this video was useful to you if it was do hit that subscribe button it would help me out a lot Thanks for watching guys, take care and stay safe out there.